So Josh Wardle made a word game for his partner because she wanted to be able to play this word game every day. And at an architectural level, it is radical because it is simple and it is a throwback to an internet that many people have forgotten about. What happened after that was the glitch community took the idea and ran with it. They made remixes. And so people have made... I mean, the last count was well over a thousand remixes of Wordle on Glitch. And that's sort of branched off into all these different worlds now. What's been most amazing for me to see, the majority of remixes we've seen on Glitch have been from K-pop fans. So we have a huge community of of mostly teenage girls who love K-pop, you know, Korean pop music, which is global pop music now. And so that's pretty remarkable that we have, on an average afternoon, a handful of new apps made by young women will pop up about the groups they like. And then people play it, they share their scores. You know, the key takeaway here is pop culture tied directly to broad individual creation of independent websites that all run on their own addresses, created by individual people with no surveillance, no tracking, no connection to any of the big silos, complete open source, the ability to take it and actually run it somewhere else. The web that we are told we are fighting for exists every day and millions of people are participating in it. 